some of my friends, family, relatives overseas have been checking in with us just to see how we're doing in the midst of this COVID-19 situation in Toronto, Canada. So I thought I'd share a little bit of our lives and I'll cover it in three aspects. The first, supplies and daily activities. Second, economical concerns. And the third, our overall mindset and approach towards uncertain times. So in terms of daily life and supplies, the COVID-19 situation really started to impact us two Fridays ago, Friday the 13th, and the Canadian government was giving updates on the COVID situation and several media outlets told people to stock up on supplies, which I believe led to a surge of panic buying, at least in Toronto. Like that Friday night, we went to do our regular grocery shopping and we just wanted to get vegetables in this one store and there were like so many people, we just left. And then we went to two other grocery stores and I was shocked because there were so many empty aisles and I've never seen anything like that in my life. And just at first sight, I was just wondering like, should I be worried about this? The quick answer is no. And as I walked through the aisles on that day, I noticed that the food that people were stockpiling on were dried pasta, dried beans, canned beans, frozen pizza, frozen processed food, flour, sugar, milk, bread, chicken, bananas, potatoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably notice that I don't eat wheat and I avoid processed foods as much as I can. So the things that were out of stock were not really things that we usually consume anyway. And in fact, out of all of that, I could see a lot of fresh produce, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, and the organic aisle, lots of gluten-free fruit there. So you can find chia seeds, oatmeal, black seeds, all of that there. So nothing to worry about. All these stores, at least once a week, a truck would come with replenishment products. I knew like it would probably be replenished. And three enough, one week after, which is just last Thursday, I went to two other supermarkets. I was really impressed to see that regardless if it's an independent store or a national grocery chain, everything was fully stocked up. Like all the items I mentioned earlier were stockpiled. I was able to get things and they didn't raise the prices and if not, I think some of the prices were even better on, than regular days. So that's the food situation, we're not worried. Um, in terms of the items that I think we may not see for a while are like toilet paper, paper towels, facial tissues disinfectant wipes. But all that being said, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, which is the largest drugstore chain in Canada, and I was definitely seeing toilet paper, paper towels, and tissue papers there. It may not be at the quantities that we're used to buying or the price point that we prefer to pay, but I mean, it's not that much higher. Certainly, you can find it when you need it. So to us, that tells us this is something we don't need to worry about. For us, it's all about, this is our weekly grocery list. We may need to go to more stores than usual, but I'm not afraid of not being able to find what we need. In terms of our daily lives, not much impact. My husband, like many Canadians, have been instructed to work remotely, so I see a lot more of him, which is a good thing. And for myself, I swim almost every day, but all the facilities in our building has been shut down to further notice. I haven't been able to swim and I was not able to use the gym. Not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. There's workouts I can do at home. This brings me to the second aspect, which is economical concerns. In Toronto, restaurants are closed or they only offer takeout. Um, pubs, bars, theaters, shopping malls, non-essential services like hair salons, they are all shut down until further notice. That doesn't impact us in a social life basis because we don't usually go to those places. However, the concern is more around the slowing down and shutting down businesses and how it's going to impact unemployment rate and our overall economy this year. For the last week, 500,000 applications for unemployment insurance benefits has been submitted. There's a lot of lay layoffs everywhere and similar shutting down of businesses seen in other global markets such as United Kingdom and some places in the United States. So our concern is more like, are we going to hit into an economical recession? And in my mind, these are things that are outside of control and worrying doesn't help. And in fact, there's nothing we can do as other than to wait it out and just see what happens. Tighten up our lifestyles and just prepare for potential rainy days that could come. So this leads me to the third aspect, which is our mindset and approach towards uncertain time. Two things. One, it's not a problem until it's truly a problem. And two, mental health first. Fear, worry, and anxiety are normal emotions that might arise when situations like these happen, but they will pass. I need to remind myself that these emotions can rob me from the clarity of mind that is required to make the best decisions at critical times. COVID-19 is a global situation that affects everybody. Whether you be an individual, a professional, a small business, a large corporation, a country, an economy, no one is spared. Everyone is affected to a certain degree. 
I know that I'm not going through this alone. We are not going through this alone. Do not underestimate the amount of resilience and adaptability that we each individually have as human beings. I'm confident that when the problems arise, each of us have the ability to analyze the situation and figure out what is the best way forward. And we'll come out of this stronger, more resilient, and better prepared for the next unexpected crisis. Personally, if not for COVID-19, that would have been something else that would trigger a recession. It's just a matter of time. And even if not unexpected things happen in life, like for myself, I never ever thought that I would get so sick that I had to stop working, which in itself was a crisis. But hey, like it was really difficult days, but one day at a time, one step at a time, and it wasn't as scary as I thought when the unexpected happened. A lot of our fear is due to the unknown. So to end off, I want to encourage us to not fear the unknown and that it is in uncertain times like these where we are able to grow the most and accumulate the life experience in a very short amount of time. And these life experiences are so invaluable that it cannot be exchanged with however many personal development or business books that you read or schooling that you could go through. Because we are going through it as ourselves and that experience will change us. The next time we have to go through an unexpected event or the unknown, we'll be better equipped to go through them without losing ourselves.